Hello and welcome to Zabbix Handy Tips. Today we will take a look at the multi-page dashboard functionality. I have my database server dashboard opened on my demo Zabbix instance. So let's add a new dashboard page with information only about my MySQL servers. Press the edit dashboard button in the top right corner. Now use the tiny arrow down by the add button to open the drop down menu, then select add page. Enter a name for the new page. In my case, it's MySQL servers. Now we need to add some widgets to the new page. There are two ways to do this. You can create widgets from scratch, like this graph widget I'm adding right now. Let's configure this widget to display the number of connections per second for one of our MySQL servers. We can save some time and copy existing widgets from another tab or even another dashboard. So let me switch back to page one, click on the three dots in the corner of this problem widget and select copy. Then return to my new dashboard page, click on the empty space and press paste widget. Right now this problem widget shows information about problems on all of my database servers. So I will open the widget configuration form and change the host group to my SQL servers and save the changes. I can add more widgets and more pages later, but for now let's move on to other multi-page dashboard settings. My first dashboard page has a generic name, page one. To change it to database servers, press the three dots next to the page name and select properties. Enter the new page name and press apply to save it. Page properties menu also allows to set a custom page display period for each page, but I've chosen not to use it. Instead, I will set the same display period for all pages at once. This can be done in the dashboard properties. Click on the gear icon at the top right corner and edit the default page display period parameter. I am setting it to 10 seconds. Press apply in the settings form and then press save changes to save changes for the whole dashboard. Now we are all done and the slideshow should start automatically. Here it goes. The dashboard switches from the global database information to the MySQL page and back every 10 seconds. I can also navigate between pages manually using these buttons on the left and I can stop or start the slideshow manually as well.